Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Hello and welcome to Newcastle Lawrence County Living. And we're going to talk about the Holly Jolly Holiday Express. And, you know, I'm going to give you these introductions. This is Mon Martha Constance and Larry Corvey of Stand Up for Newcastle New Visions fame. And we're going to talk about a very special tradition. And first of all, let me welcome you and tell you, you know, it feels great not being the only one on the set today as we get ready for this Holly Jolly Holiday Express tour. And you know what? I even got you your own little microphones. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thank there you, you go. Right. Thank you. Welcome to NCTV 45, and um, let's get started. This has become a tradition. Last year, we had a very successful Holly Jolly holiday tour, and Martha, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? The Holly Jolly Holiday Express is um, a walking tour of downtown Newcastle, but it's not just that. It's interactive. It takes imagination and participation from uh, the participants in order to make it as magical it is, as it is. Uh, we have wonderful assets here in downtown Newcastle and this uh, Holly Jolly Holiday Express takes people on a ride to experience them all. Now Larry, why don't you tell us who are some of the merchants that are going to be involved and in some of the stops and people involved in downtown? Well, it, it, Angela, it starts at the Confluence at 1 o'clock. People should be there a little before 1 to get started. And then from there, it, um, it, as Martha said, it makes a journey around town. Um, it'll stop at the library. I believe that's the second stop on the tour. Um, and uh, if we want to get into all that's going to happen on each stop, at, uh, there will be a reading of the Polar Express there, mm -hmm. uh, which is, again, a great tradition. Uh, for Christmas. It's a great story for kids and adults too. And it does tie in with something that's going to happen later in the day. And of course it's got the train theme. As Martha mentioned, this is kind of a tour and it's a train tour, if you will. An imaginary one, but a, one that's nonetheless fun. And then from there, uh, Angela, they go. Uh, the tour journeys down North Street for the shops there. Uh, status events um, would be mm -hmm. one of the stops there. Um, I believe Melvin's. Melvis is going to stop there, and I may have to ask Martha for some help for all the actual stops uh, that, that, that are being made. And um, it, then it journeys over to Mercer, mm -hmm. and they're actually going to stop in the New Visions office. Uh, uh, we've got a, a handout for them. Uh, they'll go over uh, to South, work their way down Mercer towards Germani's, mm -hmm. Germani's Jewelry. And uh, from there, um, let's see, they worked their way down to East Washington then over to the Y, mm -hmm. and then the Haney's, which is also on the same side of uh, Washington Street as, uh, uh, as the Y. And uh, then they worked their way back uh, on East Washington Street uh, with stops um, along the Diamond. Are they stopping yes. along the Diamond? Yes, stops along the Diamond. And I know they'll be at Love Like Boutique. Mm -hmm. That's a good stop. Uh, last year they made a, an ornament. Uh, participants made an ornament there, and I believe there's something very similar lined up this year. And then they continue on their way uh, down East Washington Street um, with uh, remaining shops. I know we just came from Butts Flowers. It's a new addition. They'll be stopping there this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Little Johnny's Pizza. Uh, am I missing anything else on East Washington? Uh, Cindy's? We know if they were going to be at Cindy's. They, we won't be going into Cindy's this okay. year, but All next right. year for sure. All right. And then it ends up back at the Riverplex for the grand finale. Mm -hmm. And they will also visit shops there as they come through. Uh, the north side doors of the river plaques. That's so quite great. an event. It's quite an event. You know, while they're on their way to the library, we plan to have our cameras rolling mm -hmm. so that they Perfect. can wish everybody 
a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season. Now, you know, I'm, I'm so glad I've been waiting to be able to say this all week. Because as we talk about imagination and this time, Lord knows I've missed way too many football games because my wife had the Hallmark Channel on. Sure. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I've noticed on everything on the Hallmark Channel? Tell me. They never go to a plaza or the mall. They always come downtown. Nice. Well, you can't do those things at shopping malls and plaza. It's harder to do. Right. You're right. You're right on target. And so this gives you an extra added chance to add romance to your holiday season and Christmas. Come down with a date. Now, Martha, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about some of the special activities planned at shops. We don't want to kind of unwrap it for them, but so to speak. Sure, sure. Uh, we will have a cultural cookie tour. Um, so there are many cultures here in Newcastle. Uh, we have the Italians, Greeks, uh, Slovenians, Irish. There will be all sorts, and there will be bite-sized cultural cookies to taste, as well as an ornament, such as um, Larry had mentioned. It's it's very fun this year. Uh, we also have the um, YMCA. We'll have reindeer games for people to play, and um, at Haney's, you can hear a violinist from the Renova Music Festival, as well as special guests at the end. Um, at our finale, which is actually where we'll have a Chinese auction raffle style. So uh, local businesses, uh, events such as the Renova Festival, and um, have donated items and gift certificates for uh, their services and products and events, um, such as this beautiful one that's sitting in front of us. This is from Butts Flowers and will be at the raffle at the finale. Um, and so they'll go around to the different stops and at each stop they'll collect their tickets and then the tickets are used at the end to go in front of any item event ticket or gift certificate that that person would like a chance at, w at winning that yeah. is absolutely phenomenal mm -hmm. and you can see everybody downtown is looking forward to seeing you and participating in this holly jolly holiday express tour now, here at NCTV 45, we have a special grab bag that we're going to have for the sure. younger kids. Thank you. Okay, so that they'll be able to pick something out. Nothing extravagant. They're not going to pick a new car, but <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> but it's it's great being in downtown. And you know, I want to thank you for coming on the program today at NCTV 45, and we're going to have more of an update later on in the show of exactly what's going on we're going to be back right after these messages welcome back and you might notice that this is usually the segment where i do state news well the governor has no budget so i threw him out of here <laughs> after all martha looks better oh, thank you <laughs> Now, we were talking about this Holly Jolly Holiday Express tour. What, how many baskets or what's the amount of dollar value that they can win or be in a drawing for? We have about um, 20 baskets, gift certificates, and event tickets. And I would say that they total over $600. Wow. Yeah. Check that out. Now, I have, since, you know, I'm not young enough to remember anything, just graduating from high school a few years ago. Larry, when was yes. the last time we had a movie in downtown? You know, that's a great question. Uh, of course, downtown <laughs> had the original Warner Theater, mm -hmm. and of course, they're working on bringing that back, but I, I wouldn't have a handy date for you because it hasn't been any time recent. But well, <laughs> go. <laughs> what are they going to be able to see this weekend? Well, they'll be able to see the Polar Express downtown at right around 7 o'clock. It, it, it's actually the conclusion 
of the day's events of the Holy Jolly Holiday Express. And that's going to be shown at the Riverplex. I believe it's going to be shown upstairs. Mm -hmm. And if folks remember the old comedy club, it's going to be shown in that area. Uh, and again, we thank the owners of the Riverplex for their accommodations and, and use of the facility, but it's going to be a fun time. And I think you're encouraging, you know, the kids to bring pillows and things like that if oh, they could and yeah, just kind of cozy up. And uh, again, if you haven't seen the Polo Express, and I said this earlier, it's good for kids, but it's good for kids of all ages. It'll still bring a tear to your eye, even if you're older than 15 or 16. <laughs> a big and, kid. A big and kid. Here's the tremendous, uh, listen, guys, I'm giving you an idea here. You know, I watched enough of that Hallmark, even me, I catch on after a while. You can come down have dinner and a movie mm -hmm. yep. right in downtown Newcastle and what better than to have a coffee after you're all done and just enjoy the day right in town well we're going to be right back and who said I wasn't smart for throwing the governor out <laughs> after these messages today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station.